All right, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the major attack stat bug slash glitch situation because Bandai has officially acknowledged it on social media as well as in the in-game news. And as you guys might have noticed, I actually set my previous video where I was explaining to people exactly how the whole thing worked to private just to avoid potentially uh, putting more people's accounts at risk. Now, before we proceed any further, I do want to be extra clear when I say that I truly don't believe that they're going to be banning anybody's accounts for, you know, taking advantage or testing out this exploit because at the end of the day, it's Bandai slash Akatsuki's fault for leaving it in the game. You know, like the reason that people are able to use this is because they messed up, right? So I think it would be absolutely ridiculous for them to actually ban or suspend people's accounts because they were curious about it and they wanted to test it out, you know? But with that said, even though I don't think it's going to happen, um, I think in my video from, you know, a couple hours ago, I should have been more cognizant or just more aware of the fact that there's still that tiny bit of risk associated with it, right? I think at the time, I was just so excited to share that information with people I was so excited to just show you guys this crazy thing that's in the game that I wasn't really thinking clearly. So I do want to apologize for that. In the video, I did say that I felt like it was relatively safe. I did say that people should maybe, you know, give it a shot if they're curious about it, if they're struggling with certain events like the legendary Goku event, for example, then it might help you. But anyways, like I said, um, I messed up, guys. You know, I should have just thought about the fact that maybe, maybe there's that small chance that Bandai responds to this in a really weird and unfair way by threatening to potentially ban people's accounts for something that was, you know, their mistake in the first place, right? So once again, I'm really sorry. I apologize for that. I should have been more just aware of that risk and made it clear in the video that you know, if you're going to be using it, if you're going to be trying it out, then you're doing so at your own risk, you know. So I privated the video, and at this point in time, there have been no people that have been banned. Once again, I don't think it's going to happen. What I think is going on is that they're trying to scare people into just not using it until they find a way to patch it out of the game, and then things will be back to normal, you know, because obviously it's not something that they want in the game it's not something that they want people to be actually using so i do think it's just a scare tactic to hopefully prevent you from you know using it until they figure out a way to fix it um so with that said let's take a quick look at this notice here let's see exactly what they're saying so it says regarding an issue with character stats dear players thank you for your support for dragon ball z Dokkan battle currently the following issue has been found Character stats will be increased if certain actions are performed in battle. This issue will be fixed in the future. There will be another in-game announcement when the issue is fixed. Please be aware that the accounts of any users found conducting improper behavior by exploiting this issue may be suspended without notice due to having violated the terms of service. Okay, so that is a little bit ambiguous in my opinion. Like what exactly does improper behavior mean i'm not really sure uh once an account is suspended the user will not be able to log in and play anymore please check the terms of service and enjoy the game while following the rules we truly apologize for any inconvenience caused and thank you for your understanding we hope you continue to enjoy playing dragon ball z dokkan battle so that is the full notice and obviously it's this part of the uh you know statement that's gotten a lot of people nervous and a lot of people stressed because there is the threat of potential bans being handed out, right? And as I said, I don't think it's happening, guys. I don't think if you, you know, use the exploit, if you tried it out, you're going to be banned. Uh, people like me, like uh, Toon Rami, even Nano, all of us have used it. And that means that if there are going to be bans, then we're all going to be banned, right? But if you think about it, they haven't even banned people for doing things like 
using actual mods, right? Like literally using God mode or uh, instant win or infinite damage, infinite defense, whatever, right? Like there's a lot of different mods out there and people are not getting banned for <laughs> using actual mods. So why would they ban people for using an exploit that is literally in the game because they themselves, Bandai slash Akatsuki themselves, effed up, right? It just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. And they would be banning a pretty uh, decent number of players. You know, there's a lot of people out there that tried out this exploit within the last 24 to 48 hours. So, like I said, I don't see it happening. Um, but obviously, there was, I guess, always a risk to begin with that I should have taken into account before I made my last video. And, um, you know, I just want to say sorry, man. I'm really sorry that I didn't think about that before I told people to go test it out. I was really confident in the idea that there wouldn't be any bans. And honestly, I'm still very confident of that fact, but um, I should have just put some kind of disclaimer in that video. And that's why I set it to private, just so, um, you know, I wouldn't be potentially, once again, risking any more accounts, right? So um, at this point in time, like I said, no bans have been handed out. I don't expect there to be, but uh, right now we're really just waiting for Bandai slash Akatsuki to provide us with more information about the next steps or when they're gonna fix it and so on and so forth. So I don't really have anything else to tell you guys, any more information. Um, obviously, if you're thinking about testing out the exploit, uh, don't. You know, I don't think you're going to be banned for it, but why take the risk, right? So, uh, yeah, that is today's video. That is the update. Once more information comes out, I'll make sure to keep you guys posted. And one last time, I'm really sorry, guys. I'll try to be smarter about this stuff in the future and just think it through more before I hit that record button. Um, I know that some people out there are justifiably upset at me and... You should be, you know, because I did mess up and uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm right and there will be no bans. I really don't think there will be any. Um, I think they're trying to scare us. I think they don't want you to use it. So they say, you know, we might ban people, but I don't think they're going to follow through with it. But, uh, you know, that's all I can really say for now. So um that's it guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys soon in the next video and uh, until next time have an awesome day